Hey up, it's Stephen, that old Yorkshire geek. A bit of Star Wars news again. Uh, this time it's The Mandalorian and Grogu. Uh, as you can see, the article's up there already. Screen Rant reporting Star Wars' next movie needs to address one massive timeline problem at last. Um, I have mentioned this before, uh, but nobody seems to pay any attention to me. Uh, and why should they? But there's Grogu uh, looking bloody terrible in that. That shot. Uh, is it an actual one from the series? That that picture of a, a a model of him? I don't know. But anyway, and there's Din Djarin. Right, Star Wars. Liz Declan reports. Star Wars must finally address one major issue with the Star Wars timeline in the upcoming The Mandalorian and Grogu movie. Details about The Mandalorian and Grogu have been relatively minimal, although it is clear that the movie will pick up where The Mandalorian Season 3 ending left off. Um, will it? Is it clear? I don't know. Have they said that? We don't know, do we? Anyway, undoubtedly this will mean following the titular characters, Dean, Jarin and Grogu, as they work alongside the New Republic. Uh, but, you know, change the title, for Christ's sake. Uh, in addition to revealing what Dean Jarin's role with the New Republic looks like, the Mandalorian and Grogu must answer major questions about Grogu, uh, Grogu's origins and Star Wars timeline, uh, especially his survival of Order 66, have proven interesting. There are still plenty of unknowns, however. Grogu is the same species as Master Yoda, but very little is known about Yoda's species. Um, I mean, yeah, we're all assuming, well, it, yeah, because Ahsoka kind of said that she had seen him before, so yes, he's... I mean, for all we know, it could just be a species that looks similar to Yoda's species, but I think Ahsoka did kind of say that he is into the same as Yoda's species. Uh, in not so many words. Anyway, uh, Grogu, Yoda and Yaddle are the only canon characters of this species, and the specifics remain largely a mystery. Because uh, you know, George wanted that to remain mysterious uh, for some reason. Maybe he just couldn't be bothered thinking something, but anyway. This has led to one Star Wars timeline problem that must be addressed in The Mandalorian and Grogu. Change the title. Uh, there's Yoda. Uh, various images of Yoda there. Uh, why? Don't know, but there just is. Right. Um, in The Mandalorian, Grogu is 50 years old. While the exact ageing process in Grogu's species is not clearly defined, Grogu still appears and acts like an infant. He can't even speak. Hence his name originally being the child, or baby Yoda. Uh, which suggests that this species ages much slower, or much more slowly, depending on how you want to use it grammatically, than humans. This would be reasonable, and not need further explaining if Yoda's own ageing didn't call this ageing rate into question. This is what I've said many times, but everyone's paid, doesn't pay attention to me. Right. Yoda was 900 years old when he died in Return of the Jedi, because uh, that's, that's how old he said he was. When 900 years old, you did look as good, you will not. Hmm? <laughs> and he had been training Jedi for 800 years, which he does say as well. Um, in um, I think in Empire he says that, I think. For 800 years, my own counsel I have kept. You know, and all that stuff. Uh, which means that Yoda began training Jedi when he was 100 years old. This makes Grogu's age in the Mandalorian so much more confusing. While Grogu... Gro I can't say it because it's... Uh, Hateful name. While Grogu is only half the age of Yoda was when he began training Jedi, he seems a very far way off from being capable of becoming a Jedi Master. There must be some sort of bloody growth spurt or something coming. Even if he had stayed with Luke and decided to continue his Jedi path. If it has taken 50 years for Grogu to develop as an infant, it doesn't seem possible that another 50 years could see him enter adulthood, or perhaps even what would be considered his teenage years in his species. Uh, this leaves a massive question, if not an outright plot hole, for the Mandalorian and Grogu to address. Um, even with unique ageing, how could Grogu still be an infant at 50 years old if Yoda was training Jedi himself by the time he was 100? I've had a thought about how they might address this, or they just might forget about it. They might think, don't mention it again, Let's forget about it. Because I think it was just told once, but Din Djarin, I think, that, you know, the, the target, because originally he uh, were um, a target to someone, only a bounty, whatever, uh, and they're saying, you know, it, the target is 50 years old. I think that's the only time it's been mentioned, I think. Uh, anyway. 
Uh, right, so anyway, what we're saying here, Yoda, blah, 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 blah. in the original Star Wars trilogy, George Lucas intentionally kept the name of Yoda's species a secret. Lucas wanted Yoda to be a mysterious and even magical character, so he was adamant that details about this species be shrouded in mystery. The same approach was upheld in the prequel trilogy, in which Yoda was a major player, but little else about his origin species and story was revealed. But he couldn't resist sticking a, you know, sticking Yaddle in there, could he? Uh, even with Lucas no longer at the helm, it seems Disney Star Wars wants to respect this one Lucas rule. Not respecting any of the others, have they? Uh, Yaddle, Yoda and Grogu have been important characters in Star Wars movies and TV shows, but Disney Star Wars has likewise not given it many hints about the nature of the species in newer projects. Uh, the problem is Grogu is a beloved character who is clearly going to become a main character in Star Wars's newest movie. It may no longer make sense for the franchise to hold fast to this rule. There he is again, a little shit. I hate, I hate Baby Yoda, it's so annoying. So annoying. I mean, he looks basically exactly the same as he did. We had a flashback, didn't we, to Order 66 when he was saved by Jar Jar Binks. I know it wasn't the, the, the Ahmed Best um, act. I can't remember the name of the character, but he was saved by him, wasn't he? And he looked exactly the same then. And that was, um, I don't know, at least, well, we'll say, you know, I don't know, that 20, the, 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 it was 20, pushing 30 years, maybe 30 years earlier, so. And he hadn't, he hadn't aged anything in 30 years. Get. Anyway, whatever. While it's nice that Disney Star Wars has continued to respect George Lucas's rule about not revealing more about Yoda's species, the franchise may have backed itself into a corner by introducing the child in The Mandalorian. It's baby Yoda. Uh, the original, the child was, I think that was Kathleen Kennedy's idea, wasn't it? I think it was. And she'll take full credit for that. The original intention behind making Yoda so mysterious and refusing to reveal his species name is at odds with Grogu as a character. Yoda was meant to seem otherworldly, whereas Grogu uh, is meant to be front and centre. Because of this, Star Wars may legitimately, legitimately have no other choice but to reveal more about Yoda's species. While this doesn't have to mean the name or even a significant history, the ageing process in this species must be addressed if Star Wars hopes to avoid a plot hole. I've had an idea. I don't know if it's going to say it in the article, but I'll just say it now and get it out of the way because I'll forget otherwise. What if we were in... I don't know if they've got it in Star Wars. What if we were in some sort of stasis? After we were saved you know, in order uh, from Order 66... What if we were put in some sort of state or suspended animation or whatever, something like that? They must have that technology somewhere in Star Wars. They've got cloning and interstellar travel and all that. They must have suspended animation, cryogenics, whatever. So maybe it were frozen for 30 years or whatever. And just unfrozen just before um, Din Djarin was sent after him. That's just a thought. So that Maybe that's why he's not aged. So there we go. That was just a thought I've had. I don't know if that works or not, but uh, it could explain some things. Anyway, where were we? There are relatively easy ways the franchise could do this, including by offering some brief explanation of the aging process, moving quicker, uh, or moving more quickly, the older someone of that species gets. Uh, this could help to explain why Grogu is still a baby after 50 years, but Yoda was able to train Jedi when he was just 50 years older than Grogu is now. Of course, Star Wars would have to make that argument a little more convincing. But this is one of many possible explanations the franchise could give. Hopefully, Star Wars will indeed address this question about Yoda and Grogu's species and make it a non-issue in The Mandalorian and Grogu. I think they just won't mention it again. <laughs> I do. I think they just won't mention it again. And hope we don't. hope nobody else mentions it. I think that's what will happen. But my, th my way of getting round it would be after he was saved in Order 66, uh, to hide him from the Empire, they kept him in suspended animation for 30 odd years, or however long passed between Order 66 and The Mandalorian. Um, it was 20 years ish, wasn't it? Between Order 66 and A New Hope. And then that's another. And that's another 30 odd years, isn't it? So, so it might be 50, I don't know, but. Whatever. Whatever. I don't know. I can't. I can't work it out in my ape's brain. <laughs> but 
So it's a prevented animation, cryogenics, whatever. It were frozen, whatever. It were put into stasis. Call it what you will. Uh, which is why it hasn't aged. So that's my that's my explanation. You can have that for free, Lucasfilm. Uh, but who kept him in suspended animation? That could be another mystery. Who did it? And why? Uh, but anyway, right. So there you go. Uh, we'll leave that one there. We'll leave that hanging in the air. Uh, but... Uh, just change the title of the film because it's a terrible title. Anyway, we'll leave it there. So, thanks for watching. By the way, don't forget, I keep forgetting to this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Wherever you are, look after each other. And until next time, I'll see you there.